requirement number 12, part A. Demonstrate how to care for someone who is choking. You're having dinner at your goofy Uncle Ned's house. And Uncle Ned bites off a little more than he can chew. He lurches from his chair, red-faced and unable to breathe. You ask him, Uncle Ned, can you breathe? <gasps> if he can't speak your cough, then it's time to act. <gasps> Actually, it's a very simple principle. You see, food caught in the throat is like a cork stuck in the neck of this plastic bottle. Nothing can get in but squeeze the bottle and the cork pops right out. This is an emergency situation, <gasps> so be sure someone's calling 911. So let's go over the steps. Stand behind the victim, put your arms around his waist, and clasp your hands together. The knuckle of one thumb should be just above his navel, but below his rib cage. Thrust your clasped hands inward and upward with enough force to pop loose the obstruction. Repeat the maneuver until the obstruction clears or medical help arrives. If the choking victim is very large or has lost consciousness, lay him on the floor. Sit straddling his thighs. Put the heel of your hand above his navel and below his rib cage. Put your other hand on top and press upward with quick thrusts. Use your index finger to remove any obstructions from his mouth and be ready to start rescue breathing. <gasps> Oops. That's tenderfoot requirement number 12A. Demonstrate how to care for someone who is choking. And remember, thrust or pushing hard on the abdomen can cause rib fractures and other injuries. So demonstrate and practice only on mannequins and training devices.